Hi. In this video, we understand how to pass a function as a parameter to another function. Let's see some demo. To start with, we have a function called math operation. It is taking three parameters, A, B, and then operation. The third parameter is a function. It is supposed to be a function. And that function is expected to take two parameters. So this is a candidate for that because this takes two parameters and returns a value. That's exactly what we expect from this operation. So this operation is supposed to refer to a function with the two parameters and returning a value. That's exactly what this add is doing. So I can call this math op with two numbers followed by a function which takes two values and returns a value. As long as it is doing that, it's a match to it. Well, you can create one more function. This sign we say multiply. And this time it is returning the product of those two values. So I can call the same math of with another two values. And then this time you give an another function. In fact, any function that takes two parameters and returns a value is a candidate for this operation. Because that's exactly what we expect from that function. So go run this and you will see 30 from the first function because there we are calling 30. And next time when we call that, we are calling this multiply function. So you need to understand what signature is needed. That means what parameters the function expects, what type of value the function returns. If you understand that, then you can call a function that suits the requirement. So if you put it in the form of pictures, it goes like this. So to start with, you have the function and add is pointing to that. So this is add pointing to this. Let's just assume some imaginary addresses like this is having address 1000. So that is the address add is having like this. So it's pointing to this function. Now coming to this, you are passing 10, 20 and add. So inside the function, A contains 10, B contains 20 and this operation is actually pointing to the same function that we are passing. So here is the operation and we are passing add. You see just the name, that means we are passing 1000, the address. So even operation has the same 1000 and it is pointing to the same function. So this is passed it to this, right? So operation is now pointing to the same function. And then when I say call operation with a, b, we are invoking this function and passing a and b as parameter. And whatever this function returns, we take that and we print it. And a little later, when we call the same function, but give a different function as parameter, then what happens here is your another function called multiply. Let's say this is that address 2000. Now the same operation is now pointing to this. So it is pointing to that, not to this. So when we say operation in this context, we are invoking this function. So you are passing a function as a parameter so that that function 
whatever function you pass that can be invoked in this way. You can invoke the function from another function like, I don't know what is the name, I don't care. All that I need is the address so that using that address, I can invoke the function. In fact, even add is a name, but internally it stores the address of the function. So you can pass a function as a parameter to another function and that function can invoke this and provide required parameters, but you need to know what this function expects. So instead of giving a function that takes two parameters, if you are giving a function that takes only one parameter and try to run it, you can see it runs into error. So it is saying len takes only one argument, but two are given. And where are you doing it? You are doing it here. Because when you invoke len through this, you are trying to pass two parameters. That's not acceptable. So this is the way it goes. 